Hi everyone, welcome to this video of something totally different. So, I got tagged by Susie of Simply Susie for the closet confidential tag, which is why I'm standing up while you're seeing my closet and uh, why we're going to go through some of my most worn, least worn, expensive, inexpensive, oldest, newest, favoritest items of my entire wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get rolling with the very first question. What is the oldest item in your wardrobe? Now, I think they mean something that you still wear on more or less a consistent basis. I haven't dug around to the depths of my closet, but I pulled out two items that are pretty darn old. The first one is this tank top, and as you can see by the cut, uh, this is circa like late 90s, early 2000s. I definitely remember wearing this circa 2000 or 1999, so quite a long time ago. I still keep it around, it's comfortable, um, it hasn't, you know, got no holes in it or anything like that. Still pretty good quality, so I wear it as pajamas or when it gets really hot around here during the summertime. Now the second thing that's also definitely hitting the decade mark for me is this top which is from Zara. Now this was one of my very first Zara purchases and although I still don't shop very often from Zara, uh, I really fell in love with this kind of card, well not cardigan, it's a sweater but it has that um, thin knit texture to it and the fabric as well. It's a v-neck, really classic pullover and I just fell in love with the color. They had a plethora of colors to choose from but this one kind of just grabbed my attention. Ever since this sweater I've started adopting colors like this blues that I've been wearing quite a lot in my current wardrobe. What is the newest item in your wardrobe? And I'm actually wearing it right now because I love it so much. In fact, I bought two of them in different colors. These are uh, sweaters from Aeropostale and I have them in the size extra small because, oh actually, this is extra small. I think the one I'm wearing is a small and it's an open, not an open knit, but I suppose a loose knit type of sweater with three different textures different on the sleeve, different on the body, and different around the neckline. I think this is such a gorgeous sweater to wear with your midi skirts, with your knee length skirts, just sweaters and skirts for the summer or for the springtime I think are so adorable and I've been seeing a lot of them in the magazines. Um, midi skirts are supposed to be really in again the upcoming season. So I picked up two of these sweaters, one of which I am wearing, and I did buy them off of the Aeropostale website online. And although they do have Canadian stores over here, they ship from the United States, which is a bit of a pain because you gotta wait, and then you got to pay a lot for shipping. These were on a really good sale, and I posted about this on my Facebook page a while back when I was ordering them. They were down to, I believe, five bucks or so from maybe $50 was marked their original price and even with shipping they end up being about $12 or $13 Canadian each and I thought these are adorable. What is the biggest bargain item that you have? And I think that honorary title has to go to this pair of shorts. Now I haven't had the chance to wear them very frequently because I bought them sort of towards the end of summer when I was getting a bit cold and I just didn't wear it too often. But I will bust them out this spring and summer for sure. Now this pair of shorts is actually from BCBG which is not a brand that I shop from very often because their clothes do tend to be more expensive than what I would pay for in my everyday wardrobe shall we say. But I actually found this in a consignment shop when I was just hitting up Kisilano and it was the perfect fit. It was, you know, a classic dark color. It was very soft and comfortable. So everything about this pair of shorts was kind of perfect. And even more so, I got it for $10 Canadian. So can't complain. Definitely the most uh, best bargain item in my wardrobe right now. What is the biggest waste of money in terms of a clothing item or something in your wardrobe? And Unfortunately, it has to go to this skirt. Now, I do love the skirt. I think the quality overall in terms of fabric and cut is great. It's a really classic kind of 90s shape. I think this will go really cute with any bright color sweater like the one I'm wearing with um, I have a pair of American Eagle wool shirling converse. I think that will look great with this. But the problem is I bought this and I was so excited because it was at a great bargain price. And then I went home and I realized there was a little hole in here and it was right at the waistband. So I'm not even sure how I'm going to repair this or if this is repairable because I haven't even worn this a single time. I haven't washed it and I was just 
a little bit too excited I think at the store and I got this actually at Forever 21 and it's a bit of a mess so this will be my kind of most disappointing item or biggest waste of money but I will think of a way to mend this and if you guys have a good idea on how to mend something at the waistband do let me know leave me a comment I'd be really really grateful now finally it's time to talk about my three favorite items from my closet and I think this is easy because you probably would have seen me wear most of these things pretty frequently in my videos because they're my nice clothes. They're the clothes I wear to film or to go out and I really really love them. And the first one is this sweater from H&M and I just, this was actually a really good bargain deal too. I picked it up for maybe 12 bucks, maybe not even, around there Canadian. And uh, this is such a lovely gorgeous royal blue color and I have received so many compliments wearing this color and uh, I've just discovered this shade for me probably within the past half a year and I'm looking for more pieces in this sh similar color family because I think it's such a striking color without being too in your face or too complicated. It's still a classic blue and has this gorgeous beading at the neckline which I love as well. My size by the way if you're wondering is a small um, and this I believe it is a certain percentage of Angora, it's an Angora blend um, sweater and I just I love it so much and it goes with everything from pencil skirts to my jeans with heels, it's such a classic piece but with an updated color. Now another favorite and you probably have seen me wear this one as well is this silk blouse. Now I inherited this blouse so I don't exactly know its origins but the tag right here does say Spencer Jeremy so if you guys know what brand that is do let me know but um, this is actually the only one of the few silk um, kind of clothing items I own and I just love everything from the pattern. Now the cut is a little bit old school. It's not a very updated um, modern cut. It's a little bit wider, a little bit shorter, but I can wear this again with pencil skirts, with high-waisted jeans, with anything. It just looks so classic, especially with sunglasses. I can wear this under a different uh, sweater or I can just wear this by itself in the spring and summertime and it feels so good on the skin. So really love this shirt as well. You probably remember this one that I've worn many many times in videos. Then I would say my last favorite item is probably the sweater I'm wearing from Aeropostale. But since I'm wearing it, I think maybe it doesn't count. So I'll show you something else. I don't wear this quite as often because I don't get the opportunity to do so. But this dress um, from H&M is something I also love a lot. It's a very simple, again, um, it has a bit of that classic edge to it, but it's modernized by this peplum, which was really hot a while ago, but also this beautiful floral print. It's a floral print that's not too in your face. It's a dark floral. I can wear this in the winter time. I can wear this in summer as well for an evening out or for dinner or something. It's that perfect length for me as well. So it hits me um, above my knee, but not terribly short. I love the exposed zipper, which makes it a very modern piece and the modest type of neckline, you know, not too low, not too crazy. It just has enough interest, but it's kind of the perfect part dress, in my opinion. Not enough sparkles on it, but still a standout piece. So that's it you guys, this wraps up my closet confidential tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed and had lots of fun with something a little bit different for today. If you guys haven't done this tag, I tag all of you that are watching me to leave me a comment, you know, make your own video and share with me below or just leave me a comment, answer one of these questions that I will list down in the information bar from the closet confidential tag and let me know if we share something similar or just, you know, join the conversation. I'd love to hear more from you guys and uh, share a little bit of fun. So until next time, take great care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.